Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about for loop. So in the previous lecture we have discussed what are loops, what are the different type of loops and we have covered all about the while loops. So in this lecture we are going over the for loop with its simple examples. So a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence. So it can be either a list or a tuple, dictionary, set or a string. So this is less like a for keyword in the other programming languages and works like a iterator method as found in the other object oriented languages. So with the for loop we can execute a set of statement once for each item in a list, tuples etc. So as you can see in this flow chart if a sequence contains an expression list it is evaluated first. So first then the first item in the sequence is assigned to the iterating variable. The next the statement block is executed. So each item in the list is assigned to a iterating variable and the statement block is executed until the entire sequence is exhausted. So this is the basic syntax and the example. In this we have used a for loop on a string data type. So in this case whenever we execute this program so it assigns every letter in the string one by one to the iterator and the print statement executes. Let me show you with some example. So this is a python command line and today we are going to use a for loop on a string data type first. So for using the for loop we have to use a for and now we have to give some iterator name here. So for iterator name we will use it as a letter. After that we have to use in and now we have to give our string on which we have to use the for loop. In the quotation just give our string value. So our string value will be apple and again we have to give the colon to start our for loop. After hitting enter as you can see we are in the for loop now. So don't forget to put the indentation because it will throw an error if you don't use the indentation. So after giving the indentation, so we have to give the piece of code that we have to execute whenever the for condition or a for loop becomes true. So for this we will use the print command print in bracket letter. So we are going to print the iterator because whenever the for loop runs the value of each letter of a string is assigned to our iterator and the print function will be executed. For executing the for loop just hit enter. As you can see, so every letter in our string has been assigned to a iterator which is a letter first and our print function has been executed. So in the next example we are going to use the for loop on a list. So let me first create one list. So our list will be list 1 equals to just put the square brackets first element second element and third element. So our list named list 1 has been created in which there are three items having the string data type. So for using the for loop just give for Again we have to use the iterator here so our iterator name will be x in and the list name which is a list1. Just give the colon to start the for loop. As you can see we are in the for loop now. So give the indentation as usual and print our iterator. So our iterator name is x so just print x. After hitting enter as you can see each value in our list has been assigned to the iterator and the print function is executed. So this is all about for loop. Our next topic is a break statement. So with the break statement we can stop the loop before it has looped through all the items. So this is the example in which we have created one list having the three items. If you want to neglect the second item from the for loop we can do that by using the break statement. So whenever this execution happens, we will put some if condition. So if the value of an iterator will be equal to our second item in our list, 
it will stop its execution and go towards the next item so it will stop the loop before it has looped through all the items let me show you with some example so for this we have already created list which is named list1 so just hit enter so for this if we want to break our loop from the second item so we can do that by using the for loop so just use for x in list1 give the colon don't forget to give the indentation again use the print function to print our iterator which is x after that you have to give the if condition so if the iterator value will be equal to our second item in the list so just give the second item in our list again give the colon and again give the and again give the indentation twice so just give break so in this example whenever the value of iterator becomes black so it will stop the execution of the loop so after hitting enter so as you can see in this example by executing this loop we are only getting the first item and so it will go to the if condition and whenever the value of the iterator becomes black so it stops the execution of the for loop so it will only print the first item in our list so next topic is continuous statement so with the continuous statement we can stop the current iteration of the loop and continue with the next so in this case the same example has been given so in this case if we want to skip our second item in our list and we want to execute only first and the last item we can do that by using the continue statement so instead of using break we will use continue so it will print the first item in our list and skip the second item and also print the remaining items in the list so for this example we are going to create a list called fruits having the three items in it we will hit enter so if you want to keep the second item from the for loop we can do that just give for iterator name which is x in the list name which is fruits give the colon hit enter so as you know we are in the for loop now so just don't forget to give the indentation and use the print function again so we will print our iterator in the loop we have to use the if statement here so just use if iterator name which is x equal to our second item in the list if you want to skip the second item just give the second item just give the colon and hit enter again give the indentation and just type continue just hit enter give the indentation and print our iterator which is x so by executing these statements this will skip our second item in the list and will continue to the next one so after hitting enter as you can see our first and third item has been printed because of the execution of the for loop and as we have used the if statement to skip our second item it will not get executed and go towards the next item our next topic is else in for loop so we have already seen else statement in the while loop in our previous lecture so it is similar to that so the else keyword in a for loop specifies a block of code to be executed when the loop is finished so whenever the execution of for loop has been finished it will execute the else statement let me show you with some example so for this example of else statement we will again use the list that we have already created so this list has been created which contains three string items so for executing this just use the for loop for iterator name in 
the list name which is fruits give the colon don't forget to give the indentation we will use print method to print our entire items in our list so we will print the iterator again hit the enter and now we will give our else statement so else again give the colon just give the indentation and give the command that we have to execute after the execution of for loop so print it is finished so by execution of this code it will first go towards the for loop which will print all the items in the list by using the iterator and after that it will go outside of the loop and execute the command in our else statement so after hitting enter as you can see it is printing the items in our list and after that the else statement is getting executed which will printing it is finished so i hope you got the clear idea what are the for loops in python and how we can use them with some break statement or a continue statement or using a else in a for loop so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates